So if we are remotely on the same side of TikTok, you have probably also seen those viral standing desk videos. If you've seen my other recent videos, you will know that I purchased a FlexiSpot standing desk not too long ago, and I've been working on upgrading my work from home setup. So the next level, the one thing that I felt like I was missing was a walking treadmill, and I'm excited to share that I now am the proud owner of a new one. So I went with a Star Power under desk treadmill. I'm very happy with my purchase and I wanted to review it here for you guys today. Share with you the pros, the cons, what I'm enjoying so far, and most of all, how it has impacted my work day and my work from home setup, as well as my overall health. Let's get into the details. For those of you who don't know me, hey there, hi, my name is Maggie Rainwater and I am the CEO of Rainwater Poster Co, which is a design and promotion company that serves artists and events in the roots music community. I am based in Asheville, North Carolina. Again, I do work from home and when I'm not working, I love to travel, I love to see live music, love to go thrifting, and I love to explore my home area here in Asheville. So on this channel, we are talking about design and promotion. We're talking about productivity, business, work from home. And I'm also taking you guys along on my travels and adventures. If you're enjoying this video so far and would like to see more, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Not only will you be notified whenever I post a new video, it's really going to help me grow my channel and I appreciate it very much. All right, let's get into the video. I decided to go with the Star Power brand for a couple of reasons. First of all, it was in my price range. That's important. I encourage everyone to do your research online. There are a variety of walking treadmill options at a variety of price points. And I was really glad to find one that was affordable for me. But of course, everyone is different and everyone's going to be looking for different things from their walking treadmill. If you're gonna be walking and running, you might be looking for some different specifications. This treadmill goes from 0.6 to 3.8 miles per hour, and I've been doing it consistently in the middle, so I've been walking about two miles an hour, and that's been really good for me. Obviously, everyone's bodies are different too, so I'm 5'7". For me, it fits me just about perfectly with my stride length. I am not hitting the back of the treadmill when I walk, if you're really, really tall, I could see how maybe you might want to get one that is a little bit longer than the one that I have. So this treadmill has a 40 inch running belt and it's 16 inches wide as well. Another thing that I considered when doing research on what treadmill to purchase, I wanted one that was going to be quiet and not use too much power. So the Star Power treadmill has a 2.5 horsepower motor that was advertised as being ultra quiet. And lastly, I wanted something that I would be able to move around on my own and that would be easy to store. By design, the underdesk treadmills are thin. They're designed to be stored under couches, beds, etc. I have my instruments under the couch in here right now and so I have been storing the treadmill just standing along the wall and that works fine. If I ever want to stash it in a closet or under the bed or something in the future, it is really lightweight and easy to handle. It also has wheels on one side, which makes it even easier. It's a total of 44 pounds. And of course, when you're ordering something online, it's easy to be a little bit nervous about wondering if the product is actually going to show up and work as advertised. The treadmill was amazingly easy to set up. I just had to unwrap it. It did not need any assembly. It came with tools for oiling the belt and that is recommended to be done about once a month. So I'll be doing that here in another week or so. But there are instructions, it seems very simple, and that only has to be done about once a month, so I am not stressed about it. I have been using it for about three weeks now. So how do the features that I was looking for stack up? How has it been working for me, and would I recommend it? Let's get into the pros and cons. So pros are the things that I mentioned already, and I have found them all to be as advertised. The treadmill is very quiet. It's very easy to handle. I've had no problems moving it around. How is it actually working while walking? 
For me, it's been easier than I expected. There honestly has not been a whole lot of a learning curve. It's really fun. And so once I did it once or twice, I just got in a really good rhythm and got to where I really enjoyed it. One thing that is really helpful is the variety of speed settings. So if I'm on a call where I'm primarily listening, two miles an hour is where I really like to have it. That's where I feel like I'm walking briskly, you know, I'm getting a good workout, but not too much. And it's hard for me to really work when it's going two miles an hour. If I am on a call where I need to be actively speaking, I don't want to be gasping for breath, I would turn it more closer to the one mile per hour side of things. If I'm going to be actually working, typing, etc., I would want to turn the speed down. So the treadmill has four display options. As you're walking, it displays your speed, your distance walked, your calories burned, and your time walked. I found those to be pretty accurate and just helpful and motivating when I'm walking. The treadmill does automatically shut off after an hour. And there have been a couple times when I have been walking and talking on a call or in a meeting, and I haven't realized my hour was up and it will do a loud beep and it'll just shut off. One thing about treadmills, if you are not prepared for it to stop, it can be a little bit interesting. <laughs> I've not fallen off of it yet, but I have come close a couple of times. So I wouldn't say that's a con necessarily but it's just something to be mindful of. And that's really the only con that I have found with this treadmill so far. And the other thing that I was not sure about was how often am I actually going to use this? I can tell you guys that after using the treadmill for a couple of days, I started to look forward to my daily treadmilling. And so I'm trying to use it for at least 30 minutes a day, preferably more like an hour, but at least 30 minutes. So that way I know I'm getting some kind of movement in my day. I feel like I'm going to be using my under desk treadmill for a long time to come and it's really becoming a part of my routine that I look forward to. So as an anxious person who also tends to not enjoy the colder months of the year, the treadmill is also proving to be really helpful for my mental health. If you're ever starting a new health or wellness regimen, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor. Please know that I am not a medical expert. I am just here to share my experience with using the walking treadmill. So not only have I had the physical benefit of walking every day and the mental benefit of looking forward to walking every day, I feel like I've been sleeping better and I haven't been quite as anxious. Now anxiety can come and go for me, so I'm gonna be really curious to see if these effects kind of continue into the long term. But hey, I will take them, you know, because my anxiety is typically worse this time of year. I work typically from 8 a.m. until 5 or 6 p.m. So in the middle of winter, I'm usually working like the whole time that the sun is up and that can be really difficult. Feeling like I don't have any sunlight in my day when I get done working. The walking treadmill is a great way for me to feel like I'm being active even during these colder months and even while I'm working. So that is really beneficial for me. So would I recommend the Star Power Under Desk Treadmill? Yes, I absolutely would. I'm really happy with my purchase. I feel like it's making a positive impact on my work from home setup and my life so far. And I'm happy to recommend it. I'm also happy to answer any questions about it. So please drop your questions in the comments. And that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Again, all comments are welcome. And if you don't mind subscribing, it really helps me grow and it also helps my video reach more people. So thank you as always for watching and I hope to see you again soon.